when Tucker Carlson went off on that green Eminem. <laughs> Look, his mouth is watering right now. Look oh. at that. <laughs> I want to have the one on the left and not the one on the right. Oh, God. <laughs> he look like he's horny as hell yeah. right now. Oh, look at him. Yeah. <sighs> he look like his dick is out right he's now. He's jerking it mm-hmm. on live TV. Yeah. He looks like... He looks, he looks like a pervert that gets a hard on from, from a bag of M&Ms. Yeah, of course. Hey everyone, the Double Toasted Live Tour is coming to an end with our final show in Dallas, Texas, February 18th at Viva's Lounge. I'm trying to get an after party spot for all you VIPs and super VIPs, so get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com and I'll see you soon. There's a big trend happening right now. Okay. And it's a problem. It's a problem. And, uh, you know, we talked about political correctness, Mm -hmm. council culture and all that kind of stuff. It really has gone too far this time. Uh, Because, you know, usually I don't believe in these things right here. I don't think there's a council culture. Political correctness is just a vague term. You know, we have to take these things case by case. And in this case, I can see why people would be upset about something like this right here. Okay. Uh, you've actually gone a, w- a little too far when you take people's rights away mm-hmm. and you take their ability away to jack off to Minnie Mouse. Oh, man. I wish I could do that. Oh, I can't do it Well, anymore. if you want to do it, you better do it with an image of her wearing pants. Oh, that's, that's not sexy. Them though. sexy little mouse legs. It's ruined. Those mouse legs aren't going to be any that sexy little ass with that tail sticking out. Damn it. You know, with that that dress she wore <laughs> where you caught just a, maybe just a hint of mouse ass crack. Whoa, that was the good days, man. People. Good shit. You've gone too far. <laughs> First, and I knew this was how, it's a, it truly is a slippery slope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First, they took them fine ass kneecaps off of, <laughs> off the the green no! M and M girl. Yes, and her, and her like her knee high boots. <laughs> yeah, no. they, took, they made her knee high boots go all up into her ass. Look at that. Yeah, they they turned her skin to like you know ebony. Yeah, you know, no ivory, more ivory. Ivory. No more of those fleshy fantasies about no. those M M&M and M legs right there, and man. Those lips aren't as pursed anymore. Ugh. Too God far. Damn. Too far. I used to have plenty of nice nights thinking about that green M&M. And who didn't? Actually, I'm saying this, but people, this is, <laughs> you know, we're joking, but people going to be this way. You know that there are people going to be upset about this. People say, oh, there they go. The feminists, the progressives, Feminazis. the liberals. Liberal elite. The, yeah. yeah the, all those people, you know, really... You're taking sexiness away from our cartoons. I want to jack off these cartoons in peace. It's my freedom. <laughs> okay? Don't want to go to DeviantArt to do that. I'm caught between two things here, man. All right. No, please. Go ahead. I wonder, I wonder if you have uh, kind of the same idea that I have. Okay. One, I don't understand why, really, you would need... You'd, I'm not mad. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to throw a fit because that's where things get a little crazy to me. Yeah. When can't reasonable conversation. When you just anymore. want to politicize yes. everything, go the there's some things you just some things just need to be left alone. You can sit up here and voice your displeasure. Yeah. Maybe say people went too far, but once you start politicizing all this shit, mm-hmm. then it seems like you really do jack off to a green M and M. Yes, yes, that, that exactly. When 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 Tucker Carlson went off on that green M and M, look, his mouth is watering right now. Look oh. at that. <laughs> I want to have the one on the left and not the one on the right. Oh, God. He look like he's horny as hell yeah. right now. Oh, look at him. Yeah. <sighs> he look like his dick is out right he's now. He's jerking it mm-hmm. on live TV. Yeah. He looks like he looks, he looks like a pervert that gets a hard on from, from a bag of M&Ms. Yeah, of course. Good old days. That motherfucker goes to the, you know, when he goes to the candy section, just dick all hard. <laughs> <laughs> He's the kind of guy that you would probably catch in the candy section jacking off and you looking like that and you would get you have to take him out. Oh, man, that's right. You, you don't get your nasty that. ass out of here. That's the thing. When you start politicizing this stuff and going too far and getting that loud, you sound like somebody who wants to f- him. Yeah, you look ridiculous. You you look and sound ridiculous and mm-hmm. I you know that's what that's what he did. I mean, again, you know, so, sometimes you just trying a little bit too hard yeah. and it and it makes you look bad. Look like a fool. The green M&M, you will notice, is no longer wearing sexy boots. Now she's wearing sensible sneakers. Why? 
the change. Leading women wear frumpy shoes. The frumpier, the better. That's the rule. It's the, it's I, I like my M&Ms wearing sexy boots. <laughs> sexy all the time. When I'm jacking off the M&Ms, I want them in sexy <laughs> boots. <laughs> I want them with those nice legs. That's right. Thick looking legs. Hell yeah. Long I legs. want them. I want them penis munching lips. <laughs> <laughs> nice and. That's what you plump. sound like. It ain't about yeah. somebody talking about women have to wear frumpy clothes and frumpy shoes. No, no. It's about you sounding like a mother that wants to jack off to M and M's. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, he's trying too hard to sell his point of view, and he looks like an yeah. asshole. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, so you were trying. Weird. You, you went. You know, you're taking a really a non-subject here, and yeah. you're trying to make. What your point is, I get it. The liberals are trying to, they're going too far sure. with their feminist attitudes. Right, 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 right. On, you know, on the one hand, I, I'm a person where I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm kind, I hate to say this, mm -hmm. I'm kind of with Tucker Carlson just to the point where it's like, and then I'm, I'm, I'm with not just Tucker Carlson, anybody who, who's got a reasonable opinion about this, sure. like, I'm with him in a way where it's like, I don't understand what change in the Eminem is going to do that, for that, feminism? That that it, it, exactly. It, what you know what it does? It's an easy way to show. See, we support we support LGBTQ people. We support women. It's it's the easiest thing they could possibly do by just we'll just change the image. You know, it's it's yeah, window I, dressing where like this. It, 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 but I'm right there with you. I'm right there with Tucker to a degree. <laughs> except I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> jerk off to any of these uh, these these characters, these creatures. Um, yeah, it's like I mean, I never thought about. That, that the green MMM had whatever boots or whatever that never crossed my mind. I was like, I was like, who cares at the end of the day? But yeah, the design. I will say the other the, the new design kind of like eh, it's not as good as the original. No, you it's know, not. It's, it's kind of boring. At least I, the other one had personality. I'm not gonna say like she was sexy. I just like it just, she just she stood out. Yeah, like the like I, the other ones did. I don't want to be behind Tucker Carlson, especially when he's. M &M. Yeah, I, I know. don't want to be. You know, yeah, no, I don't no, want to be there. We're not M, &M fuckers no, over here at Double no. Toasted, okay? No, I we don't, have standards. <laughs> I don't want to be there with this man. I don't want to agree with this man. Y'all know that, but there is a point here where it, 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 it the, the question is why? Yeah, because yeah. he does it's make ridiculous. a point yes. in the sense that women are always flaunting their sexuality. You know, mm -hmm. they're always, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying they're always, man, when you go on Instagram, when you go on the, online, when you watch a movie or Boobs. you watch a show, you know, it's, Butts. and that mm -hmm. doesn't even have to be like, the, no. because I can understand, listen, I'll say this. I can understand if the green M&M had titties two feet in front of her. <laughs> yeah. I can understand if she was, every commercial, she had her ass sticking out. Sure, sure. But they're not objectifying it to the point where no. she don't. She ain't. She ain't even got body parts she, no. except for legs. She's an M and M. Arms. She's an M and M of eyes. Yeah, <laughs> that's all she is. She doesn't have any sexual body parts no, on there. No, she's got legs. She ain't got no camel toe. Mm -hmm. She ain't got an ass crack. She ain't got no titties on her. No, no. So I don't understand what was so over-sexual with her that they had to pull it back. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what was so offensive with this that they had to pull it back. The reason why we're talking about this because I know the Eminem thing was already talked about last week. Sure. But now people are going to be in an uproar over Minnie Mouse putting on pants, pants now. Putting, pants suit. Wearing a pantsuit yeah. so we can't see that, that nice little uh, mousy ass. Yeah, that mini ass. That little mini ass. Mm -hmm. That mini mousy ass. Yeah. Again, it's, it's, it's like I never sexualized Minnie Mouse, although I know some people have. <laughs> um, however, <laughs> yeah. uh, I will say, yeah, the design, I don't like the design. Looks kind of, yeah. looks bad. It's just, looks, you know, I don't like it. This is weird. Now, you know, and Minnie wasn't even that over. Minnie no. wasn't, she didn't have, she didn't have no D cups. No, no, she never did. <laughs> Minnie no. wasn't, she was never bending over to the point where her skirt went up that far where you saw her ass. Mickey liked it for her personality, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. I think when they got alone, they you know they. Oh <laughs> boy! When them, when that dress came off, oh, I'm sure. she was working with something. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I must yeah. have been. I've been lusting at each other for seventy years now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, Bugs Bunny was more sexualized than, they, than, than any of these characters were. Hundred percent. We always talk about Bugs Bunny and drag. Oh man, he look. He made it look good though. He did. I know you like that one. Oh, I, that's my favorite. That's, I don't like that one. That, I, like, that, I, like the, I like the one from when he's Marilyn Monroe and at, at back in action. That's the hot one. Oh, that was no, that was good too. That, that was, was very the best, good. The best one. This sexy oh, yeah. thing right here. Yeah, I'm a fud likes that. 
Bugs Bunny was way more over sexualized oh, than sure. Minnie Mouse are, are the M&M's girl. Yeah, most of those Disney characters. So my point here is that I don't understand it. There was nothing. Women dress up in nice clothes all the time. Women dress up in clothes yeah. that show their legs sometimes. Yeah, show their curves know, and everything. And show yeah. their curves, you know, and, and of all types. Mm -hmm. You know, they wear clothes that actually make them look good. Yes. So why all of a sudden are we made to feel bad about this? Are made to feel weird about it? You know what I mean? I, well, it's, it's interesting because um, I, would, I would ask, are certain groups who are promoting this kind of thing, you know, feminism and et cetera, are these the ones that, are they demanding this? Or is this the corporations doing this themselves? I think it's the corporations. Okay, so man. that's what it is. So, so, and, I, and that goes back to my original point. They're, they're doing the easy thing. We're like, okay, we're not going to actually go through our organization and root out sexism and misogyny yeah. and racism and whatever it might be. We're just going to, we're going to change a logo. We're going to change an aesthetic of a character and say, see, see, we're progressive. We're, we're, yeah. we're on your side. Buy yeah. our shit. Buy our shit. We're on your side. I think that's what it is really. This is unnecessary and disingenuous. To, it, like, yes, maybe, I know, maybe I don't know the whole story. So let me tread lightly here, but it feels like disingenuous lip service. That's what I feel like it is. Yeah. That's what I've always felt. And, uh, I mean, why does it have to be one or the other? Somebody just took my idea right here where it's like, uh, why can't she just wear sneakers sometimes? Why can't she wear boots sometimes? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, last Christmas, I got my wife a pair of boots. That's right. I remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just, corporations, you know, they do this all the time, all man, the where time. they come out and they try to appeal to the, whatever the latest movement is or yep. the trend or whatever. Yep. And they do a lot of things. One, they give it lip service until it's Fades until out. it's until it's Fades until away. until it's gone. Yep. And how I mean, you know, that's why when all these corporations would come out talking about we support Black Lives Matter, why it's convenient. You know, mm -hmm. I it's I don't buy it right shit. now. Yeah. Gay rights and shit. You know, oh, it's, it's like yeah, we support the LGBT community, and yet we don't see any of that in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> no, <laughs> they have all their stores or products. No. They don't say proud to be a, 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 a supporter of that community. Like they don't have that in certain countries where they're like, yeah, we don't like those people. Once that's you know, once these things go away, corporations have a tendency to treat movements like fads. Yeah, like, that's exactly what it is. Like a lot of the internet will do. Yep. And then they'll come out and they'll do this just this really misguided attempt to appeal to these groups saying, hey, look, see, we're sensitive too. Mm -hmm. Now buy more shit. Yeah, buy it. Buy it all. New, no, new buy product. more M&M's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Progress, our progressive M&M's. Yeah. New look, you know, tastes the same. Exactly. <laughs> you know, these just don't taste as sexy as they used yeah, to. I used to get off to these. And you know when they're done, they, you know, they say, well... I guess that'll make these bitches happy now. Yeah, exactly. Well, that will keep these quiet. You know, about I mean, right. Yeah, about right. Yeah, man. It's like, it just feels fake. No, it does. No, it's very inauthentic. I don't think women were offended by no uh, the the sexy Eminem. I'm pretty sure no one was. I don't think. <laughs> Never crossed I don't my think mind. Women. Uh, Minnie Mouse wearing pants ain't gonna bring any more people into Disney World at Disneyland no. than they were before. People ain't gonna stop buying as many Disney toys just because. Just because uh, uh, many is dressed like Queen Latifah or some shit, you know. So I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Why, but again, why can't they just do both? Why does it have to be a sure. big deal made about? Hey, look, they threw the skirt out. Yeah. They burned the boots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's that's the other side of it, where then you have the people who are always so sensitive to the idea of a progressive movements or you know, just small changes that they like, no, it needs to stop. We need to stop. We need to preserve like yeah. the old ways. And that, and that's when it gets, it gets extreme. On and the somebody other said side. this is a limited edition, anything. I mean, anyway, this is a limited, this is a limited edition thing anyway. So this is not going to be a big deal. So right. you're going to see them back in, you know, she'll be wearing that skirt. Oh, you horny. Let me <laughs> see. Here. Nick R says, I was told that the green Eminem change was to try to distract from the fact that the parent company Mars is involved in a child labor. And lawsuit. there you go. There you go. It's always it's always covered well, for something else. Well, you know what? It's if you far wanna, worse. Actually, if you want to, uh, if you want to cover for that, make her more fine. Yeah, I know. Make her more sexy. Give her boobs. Hell yeah. I want MMM boobs, and I want each. I want an M on each boob. You know what they need to do? Mm -hmm. They need to like make eminent peanut M Ms and make two little peanuts ready. Ooh, I love that. Like and, nipples. Yeah, like 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 two two breasts. Nah, perfect. 
do that. So that's why. They're, they're covering it because they have a <laughs> child labor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this, the Minnie Mouse thing sounds like it's just a limited edition. But the, my point with that is that you're going to have some people losing their shit over yeah, this. Yeah, like, like a Tucker Carlson or they're gonna, whoever. It's going to be, oh, they're taking everything away the from us. The liberal agenda, et cetera, et cetera. Because while I... Well, I don't under, I don't agree with making these little stupid ass changes to act yeah, like you're appealing dumb. to somebody. Yeah. You know, it feels false to me. Um, that's a limited edition. Maybe it's just a costume thing. So that's not a big deal with many. So that's cool. That's somebody says so that's not even here in America. That's over in Paris. Whatever. Yeah. So maybe it's a Paris thing with her wearing that suit. Yeah. But mm-hmm. but I, at, on the opposite end, while I might look at this and be like, I don't know why they're doing this. I'm also not going to make a big deal about it. No, because I'm care. not gonna sound like a person that's jacking off to Mickey yes. Mouse cartoons while eating a bag of M and M's. That's that's the extreme, and that's that's the problem that Tucker Carlson had recently. <laughs> he made a fool of himself. He made uh, a, again. Yeah, he made a fool. Of, if he had just come on and been like we are, like I don't get it. Yeah, but, I don't get it. Like, what's the point? But this? what's the point? But, but he has to. That's part of his brand. He has to be that that war. It's like we are totally against any of these progressive movements or whatever that, that he thinks is the, the true evil in America. Yeah, and and he has to go 110. percent and that's why he looks like an idiot. <laughs> Most recently yeah. with this thing. It didn't work. It backfired on him. Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> Since everyone's posting horny uh, uh, Tucker Carlson M&M memes now. <laughs> and gifts. Yeah. I mean, settle your ass down, man. Yeah. Yeah, there's a better way to handle it, but he can't yeah. be subtle. He can't be reasonable. Because that's not what sells. That's not what people are tuning in for. So Tucker Carlson said, I'll never be with a black woman, but I'll the shit up a brown M&M. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest he'll get to black. Yeah, that's it's the closest he'll get to M&M. black. Yeah? That's why he's jacking off the M&M's because yeah. he can't jack off to a black person. No, they took it away from me. It's the only one. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never look at a black woman the same way you're looking at that brown M&M. Nope. That's safe. <laughs> that's conscious free. Yeah. That's guilt free. <laughs> She's not really black. Yeah, you sound like a pervert that wants to jack yeah. off the cartoon 100%. characters. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's not, no. It's not that big we, of a we, deal. We, we can have a reasonable conversation about this and, yeah. and see what's actually going on. And yeah. Be like, yeah, we just don't like the designs, but we're not going to be <gasps> freaking out about it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Somebody said, uh, thicker than a snicker. Thicker than a snicker. <laughs> well, he's going to be moving on the Snickers now. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, you're all I have left. Oh. <laughs> now stick it in me. <laughs> Gut. Me with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looking at it, green M and M was sticking oh. a Snickers bar up his ass. God, yeah. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me I can get off now. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> that mouth, oh god. Don't take that. Don't take that away from me. Love how they pause it right on there. <laughs> I say you don't have a clue, but he knows what he's doing. No, he knows what he's doing. You know, yeah, I mean, it's part this, of his this, brand. this gets people talking. It's yep. part of his brand. Mm-hmm. Even if it makes him look like a candy perv. Yep. Yes. He'll have that forever now it's yeah like, he, he still made a lot of money off of this shit he gives a new new meaning to the, to the term candy ass 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. tucker carlson there yeah it is. tucker carlson candy mm-hmm. ass <laughs> the man who actually has candy up yeah. his ass literally yes it's <laughs> except m&m's not yeah. m&m's anymore that's done shit, i bet that bitch shit skittles man <laughs> <laughs> milk duds <Yeah. laughs> looking like rabbit pellets yeah, yeah. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> my raisinets Ooh. Yeah. sweet cheeks yeah, sweet cheeks <laughs> <laughs> candy ass Carlson yeah. I like it I like it hey everyone support our Patreon which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams videos and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts 